Hey guys, what's up? It's Julie here from Hands of Zeal. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable jumper pattern. It's very similar to the Bon Air jumper pattern that's available on my blog for free, except I use a much lighter weight yarn for this project as well as a different hook size. So it's just a series of wave stitches and it's the same on the front and the back. You can make it as long or as short as you'd like. And we just end it with some cute ruffle sleeves. So let's go over materials and get started. The materials needed for this top are a K 6.5 millimeter crochet hook, some scissors, measuring tape, yarn needle, some stitch markers, and any DK weight yarn. I used Whoopi by Circulo. It's 100% cotton and I used about 12 ounces. All right, so to begin, take your yarn, start with your slip knot. I'm going to be making a size small. Whatever size that you decide to do, just be sure to put it up, put your base chain up against your chest across from one shoulder to the next shoulder, just to make sure that it's the right fit for you. So I'm gonna chain 58. I'm gonna do a quick measurement of my base chain. Give it a little tug because it will stretch out. I'm gonna say mine is about 19 inches. Okay, now that we have our base chain, we're gonna get started on making these wave stitches. So what we're gonna do is a group over the next 14 stitches. I have a little cheat sheet here. Since you guys don't have the written pattern in front of you, this is going to be helpful for you to remember the sequence. So go ahead and skip your first two chains, and then you'll do one single crochet into the next stitch. So one, two, one single crochet. And then we're just gonna follow this. So two half double crochet over the next two stitches and then two double crochet over the next two stitches and then three triple crochet over the next three stitches. It's one stitch per chain. Two, and here's my third triple. So that's the peak of our wave. Now we're going to make our way back down. So two double crochet. Two half double crochet. And two single crochet. there we have one group. So you're going to continue that across, start with another single crochet. So that technically gives you three single crochet in between each group or in between each wave. So one single crochet. Now building our next wave, two half double crochet. Two double crochet, three triple, one, this is two, three, two 
to double crochet, making our way back down the wave. Two half double crochet. into single crochet. So this is what it should look like. Go ahead and, and repeat that all the way across. And once you reach your last stitch, you're going to turn and chain one and I will meet you over there. Turning, chaining one, that counts as a single crochet. Now you're going to skip the first stitch and you're going to do a single crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet in each stitch across. So between each wave sequence, there is a row of single crochet. So just continue putting single crochet all the way across. And when you reach the end, you're going to put your last single crochet in the turning chain. And that's going to be the end of every row from here on out. All of your final stitches will be in the turning chain. Once you've reached your end, and again, be sure to put your last single crochet in the turning chain, you're going to turn and chain four. Now we're going to start our reverse group, which I made another little cheat sheet for you. So you chain four, you're going to skip the first stitch and you're going to put a triple crochet in the next stitch. Then two double crochet over the next two stitches. Two half double crochet. three single crochet. Two half double crochet. Two double crochet. and two triple. So you're basically doing a reverse of the wave stitch. And that's what your reverse group will look like. So let's continue. One triple. Two double, two half double, once you get the hang of this, it's so easy, you won't even need the cheat sheet. <laughs> Three single, two half double. two double, and two triple. So repeat this sequence all the way to the end. 
and you are going to put your last triple crochet in the top of that turning chain. Okay, so we've reached the end of our reverse group row. Chain one and turn. Now you're going to do your row of single crochet. Now remember to skip the first stitch and put a single crochet into the next stitch and each stitch across. And that is the sequence that you're going to follow. Now that we've reached the end of our row, going to turn and we're starting on our group again. So chain one, you're going to skip the first stitch. We always skip the first stitch and then start your group. So one single crochet, two half double crochet, two double crochet, three triple, and you'll just continue on. So our group, then your row of single crochet, and then your reverse group, row of single crochet, and just repeat those three rows until you've reached your desired length. So here's mine, one half of mine completed. So now you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna make two of these, one for the front, one for the back, and then we're going to attach them together and add the little ruffle sleeves. I also want to mention that your final row end on a single crochet row. And make sure that you do the same amount of rows for the front and the back, obviously to make sure it's even. Once you have both of your pieces completed, you're going to place them on top of each other, right sides together. Go ahead and place a stitch marker in the top corners. Now we're going to work on the armhole, so turn your work, place a stitch marker at the bottom corner, take your measuring tape. Now I leave quite a bit for the armhole. I recommend nine inches to nine and a half inches. Do what makes you comfortable, but that's my recommendation. Um, for bigger sizes, I would leave a larger uh, armhole. I'm going to place a stitch marker right here. So I'm doing nine and a half inches. So this is my armhole and I'm going to whip stitch these two sides together from here to here. So my yarn needle. I'm just going to go ahead and Whip stitch these together. And then I'm going to repeat on the other side. Okay, now that I reach the end, I can remove my stitch markers. You can either weave in your ends now or later. I usually do it later. So now can see 
on the other side our pieces lined up nicely I'm going to turn and do the same thing on this side. Add my stitch marker here at the corner. This is the bottom corner. my stitch marker there so I'll be whip stitching these so just check yep that's about right so now just whip stitch these sides together Okay, so that is also completed. Now, moving back to the top of the piece, we're going to work on enclosing this a little bit. So, I recommend doing about three inches you can do more you can do less but i'm going to place my stitch marker at three inches and then whip stitch from the corner to that stitch marker i'm going to go ahead and do my marking on the other side as well Now whip stitch from here to here and from here to here. All right, once you're done whip stitching, go ahead and turn your piece right side out. Now we're gonna work on the sleeves. So go to your armhole. This is very simple. You can't really mess it up, so don't be too worried. Also, I did not weave in my ends, but that's okay, I will. I'm just gonna stuff them in there for now. So go ahead and grab your crochet hook and your yarn. You're gonna attach your yarn in any stitch in this hole. I'm going to do it down here in the corner. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. So just like that. And chain one. Now all you're gonna do is single crochet evenly around the entire hole. Okay, it doesn't really matter the count at this point because even on the other side, you'll probably do just about the same amount. If you wanna keep track, then go ahead and keep track so you can have the exact same number on the other side. Uh, but me, I'm, I'm pretty consistent. So even if I'm off by one or two or three, it's, it's not going to change the overall look of the sleeve. And single crocheting evenly. If you haven't heard that term before, it really just means to 
do single crochet and make it look even across. It doesn't necessarily have a stitch to go into. You're more so working in, usually you're working into the side of stitches, which is what we're doing. We're working into the side of our single crochet stitches and our triple crochet stitches. So it'll start to just look a little more seamed. So just make your way all the way around. And then you'll join with a slip stitch to your first single crochet. And I'll go ahead and meet you over there. All right, I've made my way all the way around. So I'm gonna join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet. Now go ahead and chain two. You're going to skip the first stitch and do a double crochet in the next stitch and a double crochet in each stitch around. So all those single crochets you just made, you are now going to put double crochets in each of them. So just continue doing that. Okay, once you've done all your double crochet stitches, we're gonna move on to the next round. I'm actually gonna switch colors here. You don't have to, but this is the last round and I just like the look of a white edging. So I'm just gonna go ahead and join my next color here. And then join with a slip stitch whether you switch colors or not, join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet. Now we're going to chain four. So we're gonna do one triple in the same stitch as joining and in each stitch around you're going to put two triple crochet this is gonna open up that sleeve and give it the nice little ruffle look that. So go ahead and continue doing two triple crochet in each stitch around. So this is what my triple crochet row looks like so far. Just wanted to let you see it. Um, go ahead and complete the rest of your sleeve and then do the exact same thing on the other side and then we're almost done we just have to add a row of single crochet to the neck hole and a row of single crochet on the bottom of the piece all right so now that you have completed your ruffle sleeves we're just going to add a border around the neck and then on the bottom as well. So go ahead and take your hook and your yarn. I'm going to do a white border just to go along with my sleeve color. I'm going to attach it just right here in the corner. Chain one. And for this, you're just gonna do a simple row of single crochet in each stitch around. Then once you reach all the way around, go ahead and 
join with a slip stitch in your first single crochet. Cut your yarn. And that's what that should look like. Now turn your work to the bottom and you're going to do the same thing along the bottom edge. Um, <clears throat> I have had a few ideas of possibly adding some ruffle to the bottom. I don't think I'm going to do that on mine, but that's an idea for anybody who might want to try that. Just to add something a little extra. So go ahead and attach your yarn and put one row of single crochet on the bottom. Okay, so I made my way all the way around and now I am starting to weave in my ends. And that is the last part for this top. Thank you guys so much for giving this pattern a try. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please tag me on all social media platforms as I love to see all of your beautiful creations. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I have many more patterns coming your way. I am just full of ideas and I can't wait to share them with you. Well, if you haven't already, check out some of my other patterns here on YouTube. I have some great ones for beginners, some really cute and fun tops. So be sure to give those a try as well. Thanks again and I will see you next time.